The following is not a confirmation of the identity, nor the location of Roxlaw. This video is made using items from the Dark Wheel novel and other Elite games to form speculation on the topic that is Roxlaw. If you are offended by speculation, monologues, people discussing Roxlaw, or discussing the Dark Wheel, then go watch something else. Firstly, a foreword. The Roxlaw Theory videos are not necessarily intended to connect with one another. Sometimes each episode will contradict each other. Hence why they are called theories and not theory. They were first made to point out the different popular theories that existed on the Frontier Developments Forum in relation to Roxler. My personal opinion on Roxler is that it is not accessible in the game. Yes, it may exist on the galaxy map, but I believe it is either beyond our jump ranges or is placed behind a permit lot. I'm comfortable with the idea that I am wrong on this belief, but for me, it makes sense for Frontier to wait until they have released the Odyssey. Also, it is my personal opinion that Roxler is not one entity or place for the player base to visit or encounter. It is a whole series of objects, places and story events that has the eventual purpose of building a more expansive storyline than we currently have with the petty machinations of the human race. As Mr Brooks once said, Roxler is a journey. That journey could be a quest. So with all this in mind, you may think, what's the point of these videos if you don't believe Roxler is in the game? Simply put, it is interesting to discuss these topics. In the early days of my interest of this game, I would often find myself on the Frontier forums, reading page upon page of people's often conflicting theories. Always aware that nothing has ever been found in regards to Roxler within the history of the entire franchise. The mystery of knowing that the term Roxler is canon yet not knowing anything about it, drives mine and many other people's curiosities to peak levels. It is human nature to seek an understanding on objects they often think about. It's why we know the Earth is not flat, because our ancestors would always look at the horizon, dreaming of what may exist beyond the confines of what they could see. When the very first iteration of the Elite franchise was released in the 80s, a series of booklets were bundled in with a copy of the game itself. In one of these pieces of literature, a 48-page novel was included called The Dark Wheel, written by Robert Holstock. Within this story was the tales of the Ryder family, who undergo a series of events that lead to a revelation of a place known to us now as Raxler. This journey is available for free on both Ian Bell's website and the Frontier Development's website in digital format. It is an essential read for those of you who seek the Jew. Link below. As I will be discussing elements contained within this book, there will be spoilers to the Dark Wheel novel, and as such, you have been warned. Contained within the verses of the Dark Wheel novel is a number of possible clues to the future of the story, more specifically the story of the Raxler mystery. In the Dark Wheel novel, Robert Holstock attempted to breathe life into the vectored universe of 1984 Elite, more than you could ever do with the limitations of the technology of the day. One of the core subjects of this story was the anomaly or non-place known as Witch Space. Witch space, otherwise known in the current game as hyperspace, is an area of reality that exists between the fabric of our universe. When a ship travels from one star to the next, it rips a hole in the fabric of real space using witch space as its highway. Within this realm exists a place that is totally alien to the physics of our own reality, where time itself ticks to a non-linear beat. In reality, which space is merely the loading screen for the next system you enter, but in terms of the story or lore, it is much more. Currently, it is not possible to stop and explore this intra-dimensional realm. No human technology can interfere with the tunneling process when you travel from one star to the next, but it is not always like this. In humanity's past, pilots would sometimes get lost within which space. The following is from the Dark Wheel novel. You move through this chaos, and a new voice begins to call for attention. You're now with the faraway orientation system controller. You're going to cover maybe seven light years in a few minutes. You might think it's a lot of space to get lost in, 
but that isn't how it works. Far away is a tunnel. Like any other tunnel, inside that tunnel is a realm called Witch Space. A magic place. A place where the normal rules of the universe don't necessarily work. And every few thousand parsecs along the Witch Space tunnel, there are monitoring satellites and branch lines and stop points and rescue stations. And passing by all of these perhaps a hundred channels, a hundred lines for ships to travel. Each one protected against the two big dangers of hyperspace travel, atomic reorganization and time displacement. Jump on your own through hyperspace across more than half a light year, you'd be lucky to make the same universe, let alone your destination. You might emerge from which space turned inside out, which is not a pretty sight. You might be stretched in all the wrong angles, and although the ship keeps traveling, that jelly mass of broken bone and flesh inside the cabin is you. According to legend, you might come through okay and breathe a sigh of relief, only to go into Earth orbit and wonder why that big lizard with the teeth and the long tail and green scales is roaring up at you and warning you off his nice Jurassic patch of prehistoric desert. To go far away is a killer, unless you obey the rules. So here we see that Robert Holstock attempts to flesh out what exactly Witch Space is. It seems that at some point within humanity's past, massive infrastructure was required for any Witch Space travel to occur. Within Witch Space, they would place robotic beacons for pilots to use to traverse through Witch Space. There existed rescue stations for pilots who became trapped in the folds between reality. Two detrimental effects of an unsuccessful Witch Space jump are also mentioned. The racks, or stretching of your body to fatal levels, or to travel into the past. If the Dark Wheel novel has not been retconned, then we have to look at these subjects as a possible pointer to where or what exactly Roxlar is. During the early stages of humanity's development, generational ships were made in massive quantities in an attempt to reach a planet which could have supported human life. They would travel at sublight speeds across the void between stars for hundreds of years. Drifting from one generation to the next, the crews would attempt what no human had ever done before, to exist on a planet that is not of our own star. In the 2200s, the first tentative steps were made around the light speed barrier. Early hyperspace jumps were difficult and treacherous for human pilots, and as such, the first hyperspace capable vessels were automated. As these early drives were refined, a massive colonization effort was commenced that populated what we now know as the bubble. Colonization ships were equipped with hyperspace drives and the older generation ships that were lost were forsaken to space and time and forgotten for many centuries. As we have already heard via the Dark Wheel novel, early hyperspace travel was fraught with danger. A danger that was known to the human pilots during the events of the Dark Wheel novel many years after these early hyperspace journeys. Could it be possible that one of these early hyperspace colony ships fell victim to one of these dangers? An accident or event on board one of these vessels may have had profound consequences for the crew. So let me try to build a hypothetical scenario to what could happen in the near future with the story of Elite Dangerous. I could be wrong, I probably am wrong, but what harm is it to listen to a vagrant driven mad by the void of space? Stay a while and listen. Firstly we have the generation ships, they are sent out to the cosmos to colonise planets beyond our own star. Then comes the hyperspace drive and the early ventures into witch space. A hyperspace capable colony ship goes missing within Witch Space. By opening the door into Witch Space, this ship discovers that this doorway leads to another place and that this door becomes a key. The colony ship encounters something that eludes our discovery to this day, some element or location that is connected to the Raxler mystery. The crew of this vessel attempt to exit Witch Space, but in some way this object interacts with the ship and it opens a witch space corridor. As they approach Earth, something is off for these pilots. No station is present, no vessels, no communications. It seems that they had traveled backwards in time. 
After destroying their ship, the colonists secretly seed our world, and so is born the group that is known to us as the Dark Wheel. Mention of Raxler harks back to the time before the human race could travel faster than light. It is one of our oldest interstellar mysteries. As they quietly mingle with Earth's population, they pass on their experiences from one generation to the next, pledging to keep the events of this group hidden to those who were not born from the original crew or do not follow the code. Tiny slips of information are revealed as myth and legend. Those who reveal these snippets of truth are quietly shut down. Over the centuries, the Dark Wheel group lurks in the shadows, away from public scrutiny. They watch as technology is slowly developed to the same level as the original crew's origin point. The Dark Wheel seed members of this colony ship with some of their own numbers, and the loop continues. As the colony ship moves back through time, the location of the forbidden object that the colony ship encounters is revealed to the Dark Wheel in the present. But as they move to investigate, other human eyes are watchful of these events and eliminate those Dark Wheel members who are sent to secure this ancient megastructure. The members of the club, an independent group of pilots who wish to discover ways to advance our race at any cost, move in on this object and lock it away from prying guys. Once known to them, now lost, the Dark Wheel vows to rediscover the secrets of Raxler and wage a campaign for a thousand years against those who stole the secret from them. With secrecy of identity as their only weapon against the financial might of those who regard themselves as members of the club. Many battles are fought in dark alleys or in places which no one will ever know between the Dark Wheel and the club and many members are lost in this struggle, including Jason Ryder. If I may be so bold to ask you this question, how are the Ryder family aware of time travel? Surely, if any pilot had indeed travelled backwards in time, no evidence would have been present. Unless, of course, that this pilot had mentioned it to somebody else in the past. Thanks for the watch. Please make sure if you like this video to hit the like button please consider subscribing to the channel in order to get more content. I would like to thank Commander Halpy and Gaza Mildog for choosing to support the channel through coffee. As of now, I have set up a member section for those who wish to officially support the channel. Included within this membership is extended versions of all my future content, including this video. Early releases of these videos classified releases and monthly AMA and discussions where you can have your say on the future of the channel. Follow the membership options below if this is your thing. Until next time commanders, 07.